Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's New Year's Eve inspired makeup tutorial we'll be using pretty much only drugstore products and all of the eyeshadows and the blush and the highlighter are all from one palette which is awesome, nice and convenient for you guys. So I just placed some sticky tape down to create a sharp edge and now I'm putting this light uh, kind of icy crystally silvery white shade all over my eyelids just as a base. Then I am taking another shimmery white eyeshadow and placing that over the base that we just created to really boost that colour. Next I am taking a taupe shade on a very very large brown fluffy brush and blending that into my crease. Unfortunately with this camera or this lighting you can't actually see how far up the eyeshadow is blended. It is quite a lot darker than it appears in the uh, video but what can you do? <laughs> then I placed the next darkest shade up from that last shade in my crease with a small round fluffy brush. Then I went in with an even darker shade and applied this just in the crease. So we're kind of creating a bit of a cut crease. A nice light white base and then a very dark crease. Then I went in with that silvery white shade. It's more so white than it is silver. And then placed that over the wipes that we placed first, just to kind of boost the colour because once you start using a different colour in the crease, it can kind of um, fade the base colour, if that's making sense to you guys. <laughs> then I used this, I'm not really sure what you would call it, it's a very, very high shine, almost metallic um, kind of liquid product, it's really hard to explain, and just patted that all over my lids. So if you have a silver eyeshadow, this might work just as well, but this one is crease proof and it's very, very um, pigmented, so it's great. Next, I'm taking a glitter eyeliner and then plonking some glitter on my eyes. So the glitter eyeliner acts as a bit of a base for the glitter, and this glitter is very, very subtle. It is not chunky, it is very, very fine. So if you are a little bit afraid of wearing glitter, this is the next best bet because it's quite, yeah, it, it's quite subtle, so it's just a bit, a bit of sparkle, but not huge chunks of glitter. Next, I'm applying some liquid eyeliner to my top lash line. This is really honestly quite hard when you've just applied glitter because it's chunky and, well, it's not chunky, but it's a, a, quite a rough surface. So, um, yeah, just be warned. <laughs> then I'm taking off the sticky tape and applying some powder over the areas that the sticky tape was covering because it can tend to take off a bit of your foundation. Now I was feeling that if the crease wasn't dark enough so I went in with some more of that black eyeshadow and applied that in the crease with a much smaller um, round brush. So just be careful that you don't cross past that crisp line we created with the sticky tape. And I'm just applying some of that taupe shade underneath my bottom lash line. It's not very noticeable though, just a bit of, a, bit of a shadow. <laughs> then I'm applying some mascara and I realised that I skipped... Uh, doing my false lashes and went straight to my cheeks. So I do apply false lashes after I apply my cheek products. Then I'm just applying some bottom mascara or some mascara on my bottom lashes, which always pulls a look together, I believe. Then I'm applying some blush to the apples of my cheeks and my cheekbones. Now this uh, blush is also from that same eyeshadow palette and so is the highlighter, so it's nice and convenient. I'll be applying some highlighter to the highest points of my cheekbones and then I'll also be taking a little bit of that and running it down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and on my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to line my lips to prepare them for the red lipstick. It just really helps in the precision of the application of the red lipstick because obviously if you make a mistake with the application of red lipstick, it's pretty obvious. So it helps to use a lip liner and also helps to keep it on longer as well. some fake lashes so I applied some of my favorites. Now usually I love having straight hair but for this look I don't think it's very appropriate so I'm going to tie my hair back 
pull out those little bits of hair on the side in front of your ears. Kind of like little bits of like sideburn hair, which kind of sounds really gross, but whatever. <laughs> and then I'll be taking the sides of my hair and kind of pulling them down a little bit so my hair looks a little bit more loose than it actually is. Then once it's tied up, I'm going to nudge it towards one side of my head to make it a bit of a side ponytail. And then using the Numi Curl Jam and the one in the middle, which is the bigger tongue, absolutely loving it right now. I'm used to using a very, very narrow tongue, which creates very uh, small defined ringlets, but I love this for very effortless kind of loose waves, which is perfect for this look because it's very like classy and sophisticated. Just a little side note, please use a glove when using this tong. I learned the hard way. It hurts when you burn yourself. So I'm going to be wrapping my hair around the tong. It's very, very simple. Just making sure that um, all of the hair covers the tong. Now, as usual, I also have a code for you guys down in the description box. Then I'll be taking little sideburn bits and curling those just to give them a bit of shape as well. And this is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching as usual. And I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous <laughs> Christmas and New Year's. Bye guys.